Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of trabeculated urinary bladder. Multiple trabeculations are seen along the walls of the urinary bladder. You can see the scanning of the urinary bladder. Trabeculation of bladder affects the amount of urine that your bladder can hold and the way that it is emptied. A trabeculated urinary bladder is no longer able to expand when filled with urine and contract when emptied. This cycle can lead urinary incontinence, infection and kidney damage. Now you can see the trabeculation along the urinary bladder walls. The normal bladder wall had a mean thickness of 2.76 mm when the bladder is almost empty and 1.55 mm when it is distended. There is a linear relationship between the bladder fullness and the bladder wall thickness. The upper limits are 3 and 5 mm for a full or empty urinary bladder respectively. The normal bladder capacity before you feel any sensation of urge is about 300 cc that is 10 ounces. Normal widening volumes are 210 to 300 cc that is 7 to 10 ounces with the first morning widening usually being the largest at 400 to 500 cc the stretching of the urinary bladder wall can increase the size of the bladder from about 2 inches to more than 6 inches long depending on the amount of liquid the typical human bladder reacts reaches its capacity between 16 to 24 ounces of urine but the urge is to urinate comes when the bladder is about one quarter full. The symptoms of an enlarged bladder can be frustrating, but the condition on its own is not a grave health concern. Once an enlarged bladder has been developed, it is unlikely to return to its former state. However, the symptoms can be managed so that they cause less stress to the person affected. Bladder outlet obstruction can arise from a number of conditions affecting the ureter, urethra and the urinary bladder outlet, but is more, most commonly encountered in elderly men due to prostate enlargement. Obstruction can be caused by multiple etiological conditions but is most often seen from urethral strictures, mass lesions within the periurethral region, prostate enlargement and congenital urethral valves. Obstruction can be caused by multiple etiologies as I have told you. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.